Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, this is a very basic video I have prepared for discussing the basics. So what it will be covering, it will be covering what is big data, types of data, views of big data, then I'll be talking about big data tools and big data pipeline. So let's begin guys. First of all, very simple and very general question or very commonly asked question, what is big data? First of all guys, big data is not a, it's not having a threshold value. Meaning is, I cannot say that 2 TB is big data, 4 TB is big data, no. Data which is always increasing, it means data which is always on the rise and cannot be processed and stored on a single machine. It means your single system cannot process that huge amount of data. It is termed as big data, right? So that's why I've said that it's, it don't have a threshold value. Maybe my system, my laptop, right? If it can support one GB of data at max, it means this is a th limit. This is the capability of my system, right? It means I can only process one GB of data at one time. Right. It means for me, the big data will be different. Maybe for me, more than one GB is a big data, right? Because I cannot process that that data with my single system, right? Maybe if you are having some high end system, if it can support uh, maybe four GB of data at one time, it means you have that limit. It means this big data is not having a constant value or not have a threshold value. It varies from system to system. Plus it has got multiple characteristics that I'll be covering up today. All right. So guys, as I've already have told you, data is on the rise. Data is exponentially rising. You can see in the graph as, as well, data is exponentially rising. Plus in this graph it has been uh, written some keywords like unstructured data, structured data. I'll be talking about it as well. All right. It means the summary of the story is data is on the rise, right? It is exponentially rising. All right. Now, I have taken one example, although guys, we are surrounded by multiple examples of big data. We are living in an era where we are surrounded by sensors, right? RFIDs, social media, right? It means we are keep on generating data in daily basis. On daily basis, we are generating a lot of data. Maybe we are not aware of, about it, but it's, it's there, right? You are using your phone, you're using your smart watches, right? All are generating data. So it has been uh, shown that the 4,000 terabytes of new data get ingested into databases of the social media giant Facebook every day. It just the uh, it's not a concrete answer. It's not a concrete value. I guess it is. It will be more than that, right? It means just a huge amount of data just from a single source. In a single source, like this much of data is going right. So just imagine that we are surrounded by a lot of other stuff as well. We all are using WhatsApp, we all are using Twitter, we all are uh, making use of biometric ID cards and all sensors, uh, RFIDs and all, right? So all are generating a lot of data and we are also living in an era of IoT, right? Smart stuff, right? Everything is, everything is generating data, right? So it is that huge amount of data. That's why big data is such a important field. We need some tools, we need some specialized tool which can process that data, all right? So what are types of data? So we can categorize into three parts, structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data. Structured data, as the name suggests, which has, which has predefined structure. It has proper rows and columns. Like example is spreadsheet. Your Excel sheet is a structured data or maybe a relational database, right? Which has the rows and columns available. It has complete organization, right? This is called structured data. Then we have unstructured data, which is completely opposite. It don't have predefined schema, you don't have any structure, right? That's why it's called unstructured data, right? Then we have a semi-structured data. Semi-structured data means which is partially organized, which has some organizational properties, but not completely. That's why it is hybrid. It is falling within that structure and, and unstructured data. Let's take some examples of these three type of data, guys. So but before we go into the uh, examples, let's talk about its diagrammatical representation. You can see on the very left, extreme left side as everything is properly organized right this is called structured data in semi structured data some of the blocks are organized like this right second row and fourth sorry second column and fourth column are organized but the first and third column are not organized it means it has some properties of structured data some properties of unstructured data at last we have everything uh, going here and there right there's no properly organization that's why it's called as a 
unstructured data. Now take some examples, databases, relational database, right? Uh, Oracle, right? You have the uh, Excel sheets available, which has proper rows and column cells available, right? Then we have semi-structured data, which includes tags like uh, JavaScript object on each notation, uh, XML tags, XML data, email, web pages, all fall under the category of semi-structured data. Then we have audio, video, image, natural language, documents, all fall under the category of unstructured data. So we are having three different types of data, right? Moving further, one of the very important topic when we when we search for big data, this thing comes automatically in the search query or the, or the on the Google, right? Views of big data. So the we have some views of available of big data. First is volume. As the name suggests, what is the scale of data? Means uh, in GB, in PBs, in TBs, this is a volume, right? As the name suggests. Then we have variety. Data is coming today, which is mix of everything. Let's talk about tweeters. Let's suppose if I'm tweeting something, right? It means I have a, uh, I'm tweeting everything over there. I'm tweeting uh, over there. I can post video. I can post audio, right? I can have some hashtags. I can have some other stuff available. It means it's a mix of everything. It is not a properly just a one type of data coming. It means in a big data, we have a data coming from variety like it's it can be textual data it can be image data it can be video data it's a variety right then we have velocity the rate at which data is coming it is too fast it is too fast to handle this is called velocity then we have variability variability meaning is like the meaning of data is keep on changing it means in which context you are saying something it's called variability maybe in in particular context like in english language I mean a, a, a word particular English word has multiple meanings it, it depends in which context you are using it's called variability it's also a challenge it's also a challenge we need to handle right we need to address then we have veracity veracity meaning is trustworthiness okay it means we cannot trust on that data it means let's suppose you're analyzing some data and later on you find you come to know that the data which you were uh, you have taken as an input it's not trustworthy it is a it's a fake data right it means it don't have a trustworthiness it, it, it's, it's lacking veracity right so veracity is one of the views of big data means trustworthiness and then we have visualization guys everything is important uh, till the time like you reach to some conclusion right let's suppose you're, you're doing some certain work right if you cannot not present yourself properly if you cannot present in a form of some graphs and charts it's of no use if you talk about uh, some CEOs of a company, that those guys are not aware, not technically sound generally, right? They, they, they just want to see what you have achieved in the form of graphs and charts. So it means all your hard work may go into vain if you cannot able to interpret your results in a form of um, some charts or graphs. This is called visualization. At last value, value meaning is if you are deploying everything, you're deploying hardware, you're deploying uh, software, you're deploying professionals, if, if these stuff, if not able to generate some revenue out of it, it is of no use. It means we require at the end what value. All right, these are the V's of big data. So here I've taken some, uh, you can see uh, I've taken some uh, dynamic representation. We have velocity, the speed at which data is generated, variety, different type of data, veracity, trustworthiness, right value the big data is of no use if we cannot turn into a value it's true volume size of data variability data whose uh, meaning constantly changing it depends upon the context visualization the, uh, the data in a manner that's readable and accessible right so these are views of big data then we have some big data tools guys we are having a huge amount of tools available in today's world which can handle that big data okay so we are having hadoop available apache hadoop uh, this is a, one of the biggest uh, big data framework we got right then we have some apache pig it's a part of uh, hadoop ecosystem then we have apache hive then we have no sql databases like cassandra then we have some uh, uh, a hybrid framework which is called apache spark then we have messaging system kafka and so on it is never it's not a complete list guys we have n number of tools available with the help of which we can process the big data right these are some of the examples right which i have taken at last we have a big data pipeline meaning is like all the things are related to each other right from getting a data from an outside source it is called big data ingestion then we perform some cleaning validation processing right followed by data analysis at last visualization i can give you some example in big data in, uh, in a big data ingestion we can make use of the tool like uh, apache flume or apache scoop 
In this, we can make use of uh, Apache Spark, Apache Hadoop for processing. For data analysis, we have tools available like Apache Pig or Apache Hive. At last, we have visualization. Here, we can make use of Tableau. We can use Zeppelin, right? So this is the big data pipeline, the how the things are starting and how the things are ending, all right? So guys, this marks the end of this video. I hope all the points which I've covered in this video, it's clear to you, right? In case something is not clear, just let me know, right? I'll be waiting for your comment. Thank you guys. See you next video.